welcome to my May vlog. In this video I'm going to take you to a couple of the art galleries that are in Chichester, both of which are really worth a visit. Uh, and on the way there there's a street where there's this person decorates their windows and I thought you might like to see that. It, was, it looked particularly quaint for the coronation. I don't know whether you managed to catch the coronation or not, some people's cup of tea and other people's it isn't. But it was very interesting to watch with all the pomp and ceremony. So let me know in the comments whether you watched it and what you thought within reason. <laughs> anyway, and then I go on to a system that I use which is really useful called Artwork Archive. Now I've used this since I started my business or within the first few months because the more and more work you do as an artist it's very hard to keep track of it and you need something that's easily accessible. Um, you can easily find out sizes of pieces of work, prices, when you did it, the information that you might need. And also to keep track of whether which gallery they're in or who you sold a piece of work to. And you can easily access it online anywhere you go. So it's really, really useful and I would thoroughly recommend it. Now I have got an affiliate link in the description which obviously if people sign up I get a tiny percentage but believe me it's probably <laughs> quite a tiny percentage <laughs> so um, I'm not doing this to make money but I'm doing it to help those of you out there that that would apply to so please enjoy the video and I'll see you later Something I wanted to talk about today um, that I believe would be a great help to anyone that really wants to keep a really clear, good record of all the artwork that they're doing, and that is artworkarchive.com. Now, I've been using this really quite soon after I started my fine art business, and 
I am so pleased I did because I never would have really kept track of everything that I had done. Um, I've also uploaded greetings card designs from further back so if they've been licensed out and who to and things like that so that's also a very useful tool for that kind of thing. So if you have a look on here you have pieces, editions, runs, reproductions, collections, private rooms where you can show work to clients and things without anyone else seeing it from the public, locations where your artwork is stored. You might have it in a gallery or you might have it at home, but it's important to know where it is, particularly when you do a lot of work, exhibitions, your schedule, contacts, income, you can do reports and documents so you can filter maybe all your original work and then print it all out on a paper copy, insights and your profile. You can also upload things like your artist statement and bio which I haven't done yet but I'm going to do that. Uh, there's a learning centre and resources, an inbox etc etc. So I, I just can't recommend this enough. Now if we just have a little look I'll show you what you do. For instance, this original piece here, um, I'll go to edit so you can see how you fill it in. You put your title of the artwork, um, you can upload images, multiple images or video links, the type of art it is, whether it's a painting, ceramics, collage, digital etc. Uh, the medium that you used, whether it was acrylic, oil, etc. Uh, subject matter, the date of creation, the dimensions of the work, you can add the size of the actual canvas and then you add the frame size, whether it's been signed and maybe you want to put where it's signed, uh, the price or if there's a wholesale price, inventory number, you can use that description maybe you want to use that if you're going to put it because there is a public setting and there's a private setting none of mine are public but it's another way of getting your work out there and then notes which are always kept private um, you can add it to existing collections that could be original art prints uh, maybe um, snow scene collection mini collection and assign to a location so that if it's in your studio you put studio or you put the gallery and then you would update the piece and then you can also record you know the date that you sold it how much you sold it for and things like that so it's just an invaluable tool um, and I wanted to show you that because it's been just so handy for me to keep a track and you know particularly if you have licensed um, a design out sometimes it's hard to keep track of like because with greeting cards it can be three years um, a worldwide license or a UK license things like that so to have a record of that in somewhere that you can access anywhere you are is invaluable So uh, to have a look at that and see if it's right for you, um, there's a link in the description. Hope you enjoyed that video. I'd love to know what you thought, so please take the time to comment and subscribe. And if there's any questions you have, art biz related or other, please put them in the comments and I'll try and answer as best I can. So have a great day and I'll see you next time.